If you're a gamer that doesn't lift weights, you need to be, and I'm here to tell you why. Oh my, my name is Jay. I'm a lifelong gamer that's been lifting weights for the last 16 years now. I've gone from this to this completely naturally. And if you're a gamer who isn't lifting weights, I'm here to convince you to give it a try. Now, if the concept of lifting weights or working out is foreign to you, you probably have a preconceived notion like I did at one point in time that it is about meatheads with low IQ that are just picking up heavy things and putting them down. I'm here to tell you that as a fellow gamer, this couldn't be farther from the truth. And I have a high level of confidence that you most likely will really enjoy lifting weights and it might even end up changing your life like it has mine. So let me ask you a question. Why do you enjoy gaming? What makes it so fun and rewarding? To me, there's a few things that have really hooked me into gaming and kept me a lifelong gamer. And the first one is going to be the progression or reward system. I have found over the years and just thinking back and reflecting on my life, I'm now 37 years old, so I'm not super young. I have found that I really, really love things that involve progression. And I feel like this is not just me. This is kind of something that's built into us as humans. The more you progress and the more you can see your progress, the more you're going to want to do something. The first time I got on World of Warcraft, I still have this core memory from when I was 17 years old, probably going into that undead starting zone and killing a few bats and seeing that level up animation going from level one to level two. As soon as I saw that sound, that ding, that animation, I was basically hooked from that point on and I just couldn't peel myself away from the keyboard. So the good news is that element of progression is built into the gym. And it's actually even a little bit better because you're not just progressing with this fictional character that you have control over, but it's your own body and mind that you're progressing with. Thinking about lifting weights, you're probably thinking of just building muscle or losing fat or getting in shape, right? bettering your cardio system, getting stronger. And while those things are all really a big part of working out, there's probably an equal level of mental development that you're gonna go through because over time, as you continue to progress and apply yourself, you're going to learn that you're capable of doing things that you didn't think you were going to be able to do. And that alone has, for me personally, transitioned to basically every element of my life and every area of my life. As I've gone through life, Whenever I've hit something that's been challenging, instead of being discouraged by it, I tend to just push myself forward with whatever I'm trying to do until something sticks or something works. I really believe that, that trait has largely been developed over the years of applying myself in the gym and progressively pushing myself, you know, week over week over week, year over year, getting stronger, building bigger muscles. That has just kind of wired my brain to understand that the more you apply yourself to something and the more consistent you are with it, the more results you're gonna get or the better you're gonna get, right? Now, the second thing that makes gaming so fun is one, the social element of it. Of course, MMOs like World of Warcraft or first person shooters like Call of Duty, where you're playing with your friends, there's a huge social element that makes the game so enjoyable, right? Being able to hop on the game a few nights a week with your friends and just have a great yes. time and talk and catch up and play together. And that can also be a big element of the gym as well. If you don't have any friends that lift right now, that's totally fine. You will find if you join a gym, well, first of all, it's going to be intimidating. I can promise you that. Almost everybody who joins the gym for the first time, including myself, has the same kind of shared experience where when you go to this new place that's totally foreign to you, it's a uncomfortable, unfamiliar environment. You're going to feel like people are staring at you. They're not. And the ones that are, don't worry about them anyways. You will find as you start going to the gym and working out and being consistent with it and just starting to be a regular there, you're going to meet friends. And you're also gonna find that a lot of people that are going to the gym and enjoy this kind of lifestyle, they're actually really friendly people and a lot of them are more than happy to help you out. So don't shy away. If you don't have any friends to go with now, go by yourself and eventually, if you want people to work out with, you're probably gonna find them at the gym. Now on the flip side of the social element, me personally, I sometimes enjoy gaming by myself. If I've had a rough week or if I'm under a lot of stress and I'm not feeling overly social, I'll hop on the game. Right now it's been New World and I'll just quest by myself and kind of have like almost a meditative time, whether it's half an hour, hour, sometimes two hours if I'm getting a little carried away. But with the gym, you can get that same experience. And especially if you're having a really hard time right now, if you're under a lot of stress, going to the gym by yourself, putting your headphones on and just lifting, can really, really help you in terms of mental health. I know that from personal experience and it is something that's kind of like a form of therapy for me. When you're lifting and you're in the middle of a hard set, the only thing that is on your mind in that moment is finishing that set. And I will also say 
when comparing lifting to gaming, if you think about a game like World of Warcraft, right, where you create your character and you kind of build your character up as you play, and over time you become stronger, you know, you develop the lore. This is so much more satisfying when it's your own body and your own mind. As you're getting stronger, you're gonna feel good, right? You're gonna feel better. That's gonna give you confidence and that confidence is gonna carry over into other areas of your life. Just think of it as leveling up the character of your own life. You are the character, you're the main character in your life, right? And you have the ability to level yourself up in many different ways. And one of those ways that is very satisfying and very energizing is going to the gym and lifting some weight. That's all I have for you today. If you are a gamer and if you've landed on this video, I'm going to assume you are. I'd love to know what games you're playing. Drop those in the comments. And if you're a gamer who lifts, I'd love to know what kind of training program you're on, how long you've been training for. As always, I wanna thank you for watching the video and I will catch you all in the next one.